Hey, hey, hello everyone and welcome to this very new episode of Research Done. I hope you like the energetic intro music, as the stars of today's show are as equally energetic Fennec Foxes. The enclosure for them itself has already been toured and if you haven't seen that episode yet, which is just a shame, link should pop up right now in the right top corner. But not to make it any more longer, prepare your pens and notebooks, as we are starting today's lecture. First category being size. Fennec Fox are not the biggest of canids, and I think we all know that. And so that means the enclosure for them doesn't need to be very big. According to Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries, outdoor enclosure for a pair or a trio of small canids to which Fennec Fox belongs should be at least 93 square meters. And as this requirement is meant for a bigger range of species, there are also alternatives for it. According to Padilla and Hilton standards from 2015, enclosure measuring 4x4 4 4 meters and being 1.5 meter tall is a bare minimum for a pair of those animals with offspring present. No matter which option will you choose, remember that those are only the re recommended lowest measures and you can happily make your enclosures bigger, although not too big. Keep that in mind. Topography The enclosure for Fenex might be small, but you surely need to remember about terraforming. Make sure to keep it wavy so that your animals can use all the terrain advantages. Just don't keep it too flat. That's just in simple words. Fencing Fennec Fox are absolutely incredible jumpers, and so strict measures must be taken while designing the fence. The minimal height of a mesh fence is roughly 2.44 meter with a 90 centimeter wide overhang extending towards the enclosure at 35 to 45 upwards angle. If, on the other hand, you decide on solid walls, they should be at least 2.44 meter tall. Such heights in many cases would look ridiculous for those small mammals, so enclosures are advised to be covered with mesh roof. That way they can be shorter and you can go to sleep without a feeling that those little jumpers might have escaped during the night. Security Due to their small size, fennec foxes are likely to escape while keeper is entering the enclosure. To prevent that, use double doors in the main entrance part, plus make sure that every door is A. Made out of mesh, B has a little window so that you know that there isn't a cheeky little fox inside. Also, remember to keep the mesh eyes smaller. Official guidelines suggest that the mesh eyes shouldn't be bigger than 2.5 by 2.5 cm, but uh, in Planet Zoo it's really hard to achieve, and you can use 5 by 5 cm ones. Substrate Substrate in the outdoor enclosure should allow foxes to dig freely and it also should mimic their natural environment. For that matter, you should use sand, dirt or forest litter if necessary, although I do recommend sand. Foliage Foliage in the fennec fox enclosure should be lush and allow individuals to hide in it. The best for that purpose are tall grasses, which can be of any color you desire, really of any color. In my enclosure they are yellow, but that's only because it's autumn and during spring they would be green once again. You can also use bushes, although beware conifers, and if you want, use smaller trees. Although be careful with them, and make sure that their presence doesn't provide fennecs with means to escape. Recommended items for this category are Triodia grass, spiny head matras, green grass. Hiding Due to the fact that fennecs live in pairs or trios, you should provide them with places to hide, not only from the guests, <laughs> but also from themselves. The bare minimum of two nest or hiding boxes throughout the enclosure, and so that means indoor plus outdoor, should be present, and no more than 50% of the habitat boundary should serve as a guest view. Tall grasses, as mentioned, also make for great visual barriers and also do logs, larger boulders and branch formations. Recommended items for this category are Triodia grass, baskets and pots, climbable logs and birch branches. Digging Fennec foxes, despite being great jumpers, are also talented diggers, and <laughs> that's a pity for zookeepers for sure. And so that means your enclosure should be secured in that regard. Dimensions of underground barriers are shown on the screen right now, as they were presented in bigger detail in Painted Dog episode. If you don't want to waste pieces, simply outline your enclosure with concrete footing and that will do. Heat and Shade Although fennec foxes are desert animals, they would appreciate some shade, and that's for sure. For that matter, Zeus use hollow logs and man-made burrows, which won't collapse. If the temperature outside falls below 12.7 degrees Celsius, animals should have access to indoor part. 
foxes wouldn't also mind a place for sunbathing from time to time, and the best way to fulfill that need is by adding a nice white rock in the most sunny place, like the most sunny place in the whole enclosure. Water features Deep water features are not recommended for fennecs as they bring with themselves the risk of animals drowning. Zeus hardly ever built small puddles of water for them, so it's really safe to say that we shouldn't give them to our animals either. A water bowl is sufficient enough. I mean, you can't drown in a water bowl, right? Viewing areas As said, only 50% of the perimeter fence can be used as a guest viewing area. And for that purpose glass panels are the most recommended idea. Also, a window towards indoor room should be provided, as in many times they would serve as the main enclosure for the animals. You can also try eye to eye viewing, but as Phoenix are mostly space fillers, not the main stars of desert areas in Zeus, attractions as such are a rarity. Holding pens Due to their calm nature and fact that Zookeeper can enter the enclosure while Phoenix are present, most of the older, but also newer Zeus don't provide them with easy to access backstage area. In times of emergency, individuals are transported to remote backseat cages and are brought back into the enclosure after being killed or after giving birth. Similar to meerkats, such places should be fully secured, laid with straw, and have a nest box for a mother and her offspring. Food and water As mentioned, keepers can enter the enclosure with foxes present, so there is no need for secured feeders, not at all. Three bowls are sufficient, two for main course and one for water. The water container can be automatized to reduce zookeeper's duty. Indoor play area For many zoos located all across the Europe and other regions I think, indoor enclosure for fennec fox plays a huge role during winter. And so it should be bigger than 2.2 square meter and taller than 2.4 meter. It should be furnished similarly to the exterior part, also it should contain easy to disinfect and clean surfaces, opportunities for animals to hide and climb. It should also either have a non-slip concrete floor or a natural substrate, which is better for animals' paws. All vents and heaters should be secured with mesh, so that fennecs do not destroy them. And we all know foxes, they are pretty... annoying when it comes to destruction. Temperature and lighting Lighting in the indoor area should have the same cycle as outdoors, and so that means when it's day the light is on, when it's night the light is off. It should also spread white light or a yellow one. The whole area should have low level of humidity, which we can mimic by adding vents. Temperature should range from 15.6 to 24 degrees Celsius and be kept at the same level but the hot air vents. It's a good opportunity to have them located nearby rock platforms so that your animals can feel warm while laying there. In other cases you can use heat lamps, but due to fox destructive nature, the bulb should be additionally secured by a metal cage. Enrichment Fennec foxes are highly social animals, which require a lot of enrichment. Logs, on which they can rest with each other, are one of the ways to partially satisfy their needs. Stimulating their needs by burying food underground can also help. To make our enclosures more realistic, throw few dog-looking toys in some places, as in some zoos, keepers come on special training sessions when they play with foxes as they would do with dogs. What's more, you can also add food enrichment in camouflaging colors, so I mean sandy yellow or brown, so during their night hunt, Fennecs won't have that ease of a job finding snacks. Space sharing Fennec foxes can't share their enclosure with other species, and I think you know why. And that would be all for today's episode of Research Done. I must say, I'm really, really happy that this series is back on the channel and that I can share the knowledge I've collected so far with you and you can build more realistically, I hope so at least. Here, during the end, I would also love to encourage you all to join Zoof server, link is down in the description, because it's a lovely community with a lot of lovely people, I'm also there, I'm a moderator there, so if you're ever uh, seeking for a way to contact me or to ask me questions, then that server is the best way to go. Also, there is a little workshop uh, server for Fenex Fox and it's linked down in the description of this video so if you want to use some pieces prepared by me go check that one out and give it a sub I think on the workshop you would give subs to items but not to make it any more longer uh, I wish you a pleasant evening maybe you should consider liking maybe consider commenting or maybe even consider subscribing and I speak to you in the next episode goodbye